Hello and welcome. This video is meant to serve as a primer and introduction for using GoToMeeting for the purposes of conducting a virtual site visit on behalf of the ACEN. This video will provide an introduction to basic functions and operations of GoToMeeting. Before we begin, in terms of equipment and software, in order to participate, you will need at the very least a webcam and a steady internet connection. Additionally, we recommend using either headphones or a headset to reduce echoes and optimize audio quality. Prior to attending a GoToMeeting, all attendees should download the GoToMeeting application for their computer. Additionally, we recommend downloading the GoToMeeting app for your smartphone. This will allow you to attend if technical difficulties with your primary device, such as loss of power, loss of internet connection, etc., should occur. How to access and attend a GoToMeeting room. At its most basic, accessing and attending a GoToMeeting is as simple as clicking a hyperlink. For a virtual visit, the GoToMeeting rooms will be set up ahead of time by the ACEN, and the links for the various GoToMeeting rooms will be sent to the team chairs, who will then insert them into their various agendas. When it is time for a particular meeting, an attendee, be it a peer evaluator team member or program representative, just needs to click the link for that meeting. GoToMeeting will open initially in a browser and then ask to launch the pre-installed GoToMeeting application. You will then be provided with a preview of your video and audio feed, which you will be asked to verify. Then, if the GoToMeeting room is password protected, enter the password and you're in. As a brief note, GoToMeeting sessions are limited to 25 attendees with webcams. More than 25 can attend the meeting, but they will be relegated to audio only. If the organizer of the meeting has not yet arrived, GoToMeeting will notify the attendees and they will not be allowed to enter until the organizer arrives. For the organizers, to start a meeting, click the link for the meeting you're in charge of to open GoToMeeting and the app. Then, when it asks if you are the organizer, click the option to log in and provide the credentials that were provided to you by the ACEN. This will most often apply to the team chairs. However, if there are two concurrent meetings, taking place simultaneously, the team chair might have disseminated that same information to a team member who will then act as the organizer for the secondary meeting. Basic operations within a GoToMeeting room. Once inside a GoToMeeting room, there are some basic operations the organizers of the meeting should be familiar with. Locking and unlocking a meeting room. Once it is confirmed that all meeting members are present, the organizer will need to lock the meeting room by clicking the people icon in the upper right corner to open the attendee pane. The cl then click the toggle at the bottom of the people pane next to meeting is unlocked. Unlocking the meeting is as simple as clicking the same button. Muting attendees. Attendees have the ability to mute their own microphones and turn off their video feeds, but the organizers also have the ability to do so should it be necessary. All the organizer needs to do is open the people pane and either right click the name of the attendee or click the drop down menu of the attendee and select the appropriate option, mute attendee, stop sharing video, etc. If an attendee has muted themselves or turned off their webcam, the organizer also has the option of sending them a request to unmute and a request to share their webcam as well. Making an attendee a presenter. During a virtual visit, while in a meeting, a participant, either a peer evaluator or program representative, may want or need to share a document in the, with those in attendance. In order to do so, the meeting organizer needs to right-click the individual's name in the list of attendees and select the option, Make Presenter. That individual is now a presenter in the meeting and will have the option to share their screen. Sharing your screen. When one is made a presenter, to share your screen, click the third button at the bottom of the GoToMeeting window. You'll be presented with the option to share either your entire screen or a particular application. Please bear in mind you can only share one application or window at a time. Stop sharing your screen. If you are presenting and wish to stop sharing your screen, simply select Stop Sharing from the floating dock. Dismissing attendees. If, as an organizer, you need to dismiss an attendee from the meeting, right-click their name in the list of attendees and select Dismiss, and the individual will then leave the meeting automatically. Leaving a GoToMeeting As an attendee, to leave a meeting, simply click the fourth icon at the bottom of the GoToMeeting window marked Leave, or simply close out the GoToMeeting application. 
For a meeting organizer, however, if the meeting is not ending and you need to leave, you will have to first designate another individual as the organizer. Making someone an organizer. In order to make someone an organizer, simply right-click on their name in the attendee list and select Make Organizer. Once another individual has been designated, the previous organizer is free to leave the meeting and the meeting will continue. Ending a go-to meeting. To end a go-to meeting, the organizer can click Leave, at which point go-to meeting will prompt if they want to end the meeting. Or simply close the go-to meeting application by clicking X in the upper right-hand corner. And that concludes our video regarding the basic functionality and use of GoToMeeting for attendees. All of the functions covered in this video are also contained as part of the ACEN Virtual Site Visit Technical Manual for Reference available from our website. But of course, if you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to reach out to the ACEN for assistance. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful rest of your day.